Hey everyone, it's Myra. Thanks for joining me. It's been actually quite a while since I've done a regular video instead of a live video, and I'm going to do something a little different today, so I'm hoping you'll stick around and check it out. And now for the bad. So something happened when I was positioning the camera, and I must have stopped uh, the camera from recording, and I did not notice. So basically what you missed was me cutting the zucchini and making the mixtures. So as far as the mixtures go, there was uh, uh, the breadcrumb mixture, which was equal parts of panko, um, Italian type breadcrumbs, and I put in some uh, grated cheese. So half cup, half cup, half cup. For the egg mixture, there was one egg, a few tablespoons of milk, salt and pepper, mix those up. And for the flour, it was just flour, salt and pepper, and mix those up. You can use uh, something like buttermilk instead of the egg mixture if you don't like eggs, allergic to eggs. I know there are people out there allergic to eggs. So again, apologies, but let's keep going. And this would have never have happened if I did this live. Um, so let's go over what I did. I have one egg in here, and I added a few tablespoons of milk, some salt and some pepper, mix that up. And I'm using these sandwich containers because uh, it'll be easier to contain some of the mess. Here we have just regular flour and I added some salt and pepper and mixed that up. And here we have a combination, a one to one ratio. I've got some plain panko and this is a, a coarse breadcrumb. I also have some seasoned breadcrumb and this is a little finer than the panko. And if you go with a progresso breadcrumb, those are even finer. I also added some parm cheese. So it was like a half a cup, a half a cup, a half a cup. And I mixed it up really well in here. Uh, I did chop up the zucchini and basically it was a whole zucchini. I cut them into thick fry size as you can see right here. But I also had some planks of zucchini. So I got some of those and I cut them in half. So I'm going to do pretty much the same thing as URHC did. I'll put a link in the description to his video. I'm going to flour, egg, breadcrumb and put it aside and once we're done I am gonna put these in the freezer for maybe 15 minutes a half an hour so everything sets and there you go there's one and we shall continue and there is one of our zucchini fries I am going to add another egg. This is going to make things a little bit easier for me because we're getting towards the end. A little more milk, maybe a few tablespoons, some salt, and some pepper. Now if allergies or something are concerned, you could probably, with egg, you could probably use something like buttermilk. I know people who do that. It gives a different taste too. Probably going to have to add some more breadcrumb mixture here, possibly, we'll see. Well, even though I lost the footage, I'm going to do it again. So, equal parts of Italian style breadcrumbs, panko breadcrumbs, and some grated cheese. And I'm going to mix this up good. And this won't go to waste. I have more veggies and so forth I can mix in here. And now the waiting part. We're going to stick these in the freezer for 15 minutes, probably closer to a half an hour. Okay, we're back. And I made sure the camera was rolling this time. I'm going to spray down the go wise pan with a little bit of Evo. And I'm going to put in some of these here. Put in a couple of the fry links and a couple of the planks. Alright, I don't know if you can see that. We're also going to put some in the brevin, as mentioned and promised. Uh, since the planks are thinner, they will cook faster, so that's going to add to my confusion here. But uh, the brevel would probably be the choice to cook a lot of these, simply because it's that much bigger. And one thing we need to do just spray it and I'm going to just do it lightly and can't forget to do this I can get a little more out of hand with this because the mist is contained all right let's get this in the air fryer 
400 for let's start with 12 minutes we'll check it halfway through okay now let's get the ones for the Bravo okay Bravo is going to be at 400 we'll set that for 12 and we're going to set the timer for halfway as well so these are both starting at the same time the air fryer and the Bravo air fryer mode now because of the issue with the camera cutout I am going to add a bonus feature we are going to I guess I would say deep fry some of these but I'm just going to do it in a uh, small frying pan okay let's take a look those look nice we are going to fold those and put them back in you can hear the oil is just about ready to accept some of this zucchini and, whoop. <laughs> now let's put this back in the air fryer. Guess we're checking the brown too at this time. And we'll flip these. Okay. Spray this a little bit. Okay, we have gotten a nice pop out of that. I am going to use my splatter shield because I ain't taking any chances. Can't fit that many at once, but that's okay. Um, I know when URHC did these, I think he said he did three minutes. I could be wrong about that number. So we'll go by that. Okay, let's turn these over. Okay, those are nice and golden brown on both sides. Let's take those out. And I'm going to put the rest of them in the fryer here, might as well. And we'll be back in a minute and a half to flip them. And this is ready. Nice and crispy there. Let's get the one out of the bread. And the Breville. Those don't look as crispy, but I expect that from the brown. Okay, let's flip these things. They should be nice and toasty brown. And we'll take those out in a minute, minute and a half. Okay, let's take a look. Those look nice. That looks like something even I would eat. Don't forget to unplug the air fryer, folks. And shut off that stove. Okay, so let's see how we're going to do this. We're going to have to try some of each. I'm going to try the air fryer we have here with a fry and a plank. Then we have the Breville with a fry and a plank. And last, but certainly not least, the deep fry. Again, I don't deep fry my food or fry my food. This is just for the experiment in comparison. Ah, oh, this one looks good though right here. Okay, go wise, Breville, fried. This looks awesome. Even I'm excited to taste this. I gotta get a fork. Fork. Okay, so first I'm gonna try the fried ones. Now, I'm not a zucchini fan, so bear with me here. First, we are going to do the one cut like a fry, like a steak fry. That's actually pretty good. Can I try the other one? Yeah, yeah you can try it. That's the fried one. And uh, this is the plank, fried. That's not bad. And it's, it's pretty good. Yeah. Try that. It's hot, so. Now, <laughs> she's burning herself. Now, gonna try the Breville. Breville tastes good. Uh, it doesn't look as crispy as the others, but it is crispy. 
That's good. Now the gold eyes cooked quicker than I thought it would. So let's see if it's crispy on the outside and not dried out on the inside. That's good. Be able to get on board with this. The salad is crispy, but it's good. If I knew zucchini could taste like this, I would have eaten it a long time ago. Granted, I floured it, the egg, milk, salt, pepper wash, and then the breadcrumbs with panko. Uh, the seasoned Italian, we'll call it, and the grated cheese. These are great. Yeah. Hi, yeah. You want to try some fries? Oh, yeah. She throw fries in it. That along with the waffle. Now they're super hot, okay? Okay. Do you want the flat ones or the big fry ones? Uh, I don't want You oh, surprise me. Okay, I'll surprise you. How about one of each? One of these, and one of these, and one of these. So this is what I'm going to, this is the fried breville and Go wise air fryer. You try one of each here and let's see which one you like. Which one are you gonna try first? I think you should try this one first, because that looks crispy. same I just cooked them in different places so she likes the go eyes USA the best so far out of the go eyes and the breville now for the fry that might be a little hot which one do you like the best she likes the go eyes the best so there you have it a kid who likes yeah. fried finish the go eyes zucchini <laughs> and she likes the air fried ones the best mm. These are great. I wish the air fryer had a bigger capacity. And I think I like the planks the best for no other reason than the zucchini to breading ratio is more even. Because when you got the fries, boy, when you got these, there are more zucchini. You want me to grab your nose? <laughs> More Breville. The Breville need a little more cook time, I think. But that's okay. Fried. First, again, I want to give a shout out to URHC because this is where I saw it, and uh, someone was asking if uh, this could be air fried, how it would come out. URHC let me know so thank you very much please go check out his channel I'll put a link in the corner here somewhere uh, where you can check out his video where he did these he has a great amount of content there you should really check it out subscribe and get watching there well if you stuck with me thank you I know I had the camera issue initially but hopefully you got all the information you need if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you thought I was gonna go when I tasted zucchini please give me a thumbs up please consider subscribing hit the notification bell so you know when i put on a new video and i will see you on the next one thanks a lot